Hello everyone, I'm Honeywell and we're playing Planet Base. Uh, today we are expanding our population. We only have 40 colonists and it's not enough uh, to support our everything that we need to do. Um, so we are going to open up our base to colonists. We're also going to be turning off visitors. The very first thing that we want to do is bring in some more guards. And the reason why we're bringing in uh, more guards is because our prestige is over a hundred and on the third planet uh, that's when you can expect invaders. On the first planet, the planet you start out on, uh, that number is a hundred and I want to say it's 150 and on the ice planet it is 125 so it gets the invaders come progressively earlier and it's part of the difficulty level of the planet uh, so we're going to bring in some guards first just to make sure we can deal with any attacks and then after that we'll bring in some much needed engineers and while we're waiting for that uh, we're going to build a temporary biodome. I say temporary because one of the reasons why uh, we haven't expanded yet is I was kind of waiting to get some patents so uh, some patents for the larger uh, blueprints so our base is more uh, late game friendly but right now we're hindering our progress by not we're hindering our progress now by, oh, I thought I turned off visitors, by not having colonists come in. The reason why I'm turning off visitors is um, I don't want prestige right now, so we're just going to decline this. The reason why we're turning off visitors is because uh, the number of colonists you get is influenced by your welfare rating. So with an excellent rating, you can usually expect uh, three or four colonists. Uh, when it's good, it's two or three. Uh, when it's decent, um, one or two, depending on the size of the ship. So we're going to turn off visitors so our... Oh, no way. This is exactly what we were waiting for. Oh, my God. Do... Do we have enough? I want both of these patents. There's no way we can get one. We're prioritizing the farm dome patent. That is insane. If I sell everything, can I get both of them? No. And alt to see your supplies. Uh, should we sell this one vegetable? Yeah. What is that? 20... Do you think we could? No. No, that's crazy. This is 60% commission. Okay, I was going to build a temporary farm dome, but uh, it looks like we're not anymore. We have been extremely lucky with the patents. I cannot even tell you how lucky we've been. Yeah, 640, 640. Trade. It's exciting stuff. Okay, now what are we gonna do? Well, let's uh, wait for that, and then we'll <laughs> we'll put up our uh, big ass biodome. Um, how much water does this take? This takes four water. Why do I have all this metal out here? Our storage isn't full. The only thing we have on priority is this one little service center, and yet they're letting this metal out here decay. Um, I think this is a bug with the with the latest patch and the priority system. We have five carrier bots. Room in the storage. Um. 
maybe we didn't have room in the storage. Uh, but we can't get that patent soon enough because uh, we're going to start building this up some. And we'll take a look at our rating here. And it's excellent, so we can probably expect three guards on this ship. Let's see what we get. I can't tell. Is it two? So much for, uh... So much for that theory. Well, I guess... I guess two or three, and on the larger ships, it might be three or four. We'll have to see if this uh, keeps playing out. Now that we have, um, we have five armed guards, and I am perfectly, that is an okay number by me. Uh, next, we want to get in more in, uh, engineers to help with our problem, our meteor problem. And we'll have to see how many we get. Farm Dome patent. It's amazing. Amazing. I wanted a Farm Dome patent here, a storage here, and another processing plant. Um, yeah, I'm going to put on the base on yellow alert real quick. Because I want to plan this out. And I don't want anyone coming out to build this. And hopefully I can do this quick. So let's see. A storage here. A processing plant up here. And... Our farm dome up here, over here. And is that going to connect to everything? Um, tab to put the domes back up. It makes making the connections easier sometimes. Beautiful. Okay. Delete that. Delete that. Take us off of yellow alert. And let's delete that connection. Uh, tab to put the domes back down. And while we're waiting for our engineers, oh, I didn't think this out very well. This is going to be kind of ugly. Oh, you know, it's just going to have to be. I guess I could just put a... It's just going to have to be what it is. Uh, part of the reason why we um, we haven't been expanding our population as, uh, as fast as we could is because right before I, um, I did this challenge, I finished up the last of the STEAM challenges uh, with the Express colonies or whatever where you have to have a certain population. Let's see. We have excellent. So we should get three or four engineers. And we get four engineers. I think maybe it just increases your chance of getting of getting a higher number of colonists. Okay, four engineers. We're going to have five
five telescope consoles or five telescopes so we're going to need more engineers uh, but next we need to get in a couple shipments of biologists because we're going to need to start growing some more food and how is this metal okay they picked it up or or it decayed one or the other And I guess I should be keeping an eye on the power grid to make sure that we're going to have enough enough for these additions. I think the, the biodomes take kind of a lot of electricity. Um, these things a little bit. We might have to add some more, some more to our power grid, although we are overproducing energy now. Uh, so it's we might not have to. We'll have to pay attention to that. Oh, uh, but what about water? Six. I'm going to leave the water and the power the way it is for right now, uh, but that's something that we need to keep an eye on. And now that we're increasing our population and we're going to have a, a large storage and another processing plant, I think we're just going to stick with the, the wheat and tomatoes that we've been making uh, because that'll give us a fair amount of food and starch. And yeah. And telescope consoles. One, two, let's say three. Okay, I'm going to put five telescope consoles in this security room. And that is enough for each one of these. Plus, we have an extra telescope console in the security room. So we have more consoles than telescopes. And how many guards do we have? We have five arm guards, and we don't want medical supplies. So we're going to put in two more, two more security uh, consoles. And let's see, what do we have here? One biologist. What is our status? Good. Maybe it's not as uh, correlated with the colony status as I thought. Although good, I said one or two, and that was a small ship. One, two, three. Okay. Five arm guards should be good for the for the next little while. And I don't even know I don't even know how much extra food that we want to make so far. Uh, we're going to start out with four wheat and two tomatoes and uh, and see how we make out. I don't want to overrun our base with with food yet. I mean, we, we only have 47 more colonists, so I mean, I think that is plenty for a little bit. And... Or 10 bioplastic, we're pretty much out of bioplastic when you account for these machines. But actually, we're not, we have too many herbs and not enough. Let's recycle some of these machines here. That'll give us a little bit of plastic. And 
Let's recycle some of these. And who do we have there? Are those visitors? No, biologists. Only three? I can't tell. We got three. And our status was excellent. And I'm going to make that connection just because. I'm not happy with the uh, telescopes over here, but just having so many. Fourteen biologists, so we got an additional four biologists in. I think it's, I think we're going to uh, kind of reshuffle this back to some of the defaults now. Except for I want 25% engineers. 10% uh, medics? No, probably not yet. No, let's do 10% medics. And that'll give us a little, a few more workers because we are going to be putting in another processing plant, a few more biologists, because this is a, a big-ass biodome, um, more engineers, because we are taking up five, six, we're adding six engineer jobs with these uh, consoles, even if they're not being manned. <laughs> uh, the jobs are there. So we definitely want some more, some more engineers. And... Let's see. Oh, and these are, oh, and these are attackers. One, two, we're getting four. Now, if I was worried about this, I could, I could have locked these um, airlocks so less attackers could come in. Uh, but I think we're going to be okay. I hope so. Two intruders. Let's hope the trade ship hangs around. Okay, and now all of our all of our intruders are dead. Our injured guards can go right off here to the sick bay and get healed. And we have this huge control room where, as the attacks get uh, increase, we can add more security guards to this room. Uh, do we want to buy starch? I think we do. Do we have any money? No, because I closed everything to visitors, didn't I? Um, oh, well, that's... We're going to get a little bit of starch. Uh, we're going to get a little bit of starch because we're not concentrating on our power grid and those sorts of buildings anymore. We're concentrating on interior structures, and that is uh, bioplastic heavy. So we need that. And, 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 and what? Since we got that initial rush of, um, of, biologists, engineers, and guards in, we're going to go ahead and just uh, go back to accepting visitors. Okay, I think, uh, I think this is uh, enough for one episode. We got attacked. We are uh, making a trade, we beefed up our telescopes, and for the first time in a long time, uh, we have more colonists. We have, uh, we just got in 10 colonists, which is a lot. Um, how are we doing on our bots, though? Yeah, we need to stop our constructor bots. We don't need this many. Um, 
Do I want to halt this progress? You know, I think I do. When you reset this, it's going to uh, send this back to zero, which is a huge waste since bots take so much time to produce. Um, but I'm going to do it anyway, just because I'm ending the episode and I don't want to forget again. We. Uh, six constructor bots for a base this size is absolutely plenty. Uh, the rule of thumb was kind of like one per uh, one per solar panel, so we're already exceeding that. Uh, I would rather have more carry bots, which is even going to become more important as we make the base larger. And so now we're going to have uh, things to be carried to and fro outside of this biodome. And yeah, carry bots would be nice. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the episode, and you'll come back for the next one. Bye-bye.